what is an nft you have probably seen loads of things online about nfts like on youtube instagram twitter and facebook and you have seen people buying nfts for a huge amount of money for example you might have seen jack dorsey the ceo of twitter selling his first tweet ever for over 2.9 billion dollars which is absolutely insane or you may have been seen this one the people selling an nft for 69 million dollars it's just even a crazier even the nba wants to get involved in the nft they have actually taken live movements of the basketball game and turned them into the way they call a nba top shot and they are selling it as an nft in fact lebron james is an another highlight which sold 200 $8,000. Again, absolutely these numbers are insane. The most popular one you probably would, would have seen, the Nyan Cat, right here, which sold for $600,000. This was actually a GIF instead of a JPG, but again, these numbers are really huge. Now to understand what all of this about and why people are spending so much of money on these things, you need to understand these three letters, which are N. NFT. NFTs are way more than just a random JPGs or GIFs on the internet. It's more to do with human psychology and how we value the things which due to technology is always changing. A technology that a lot of people are excited about and believe it's gonna change the world. While on the other hand, some people don't share their, this view. A lot of people believe this whole crypto NFT thing is a bubble obviously inspiring from this recent crypto crash as well and it's just waiting to burst as all the computers used to power these things are having a negative impact on the environment it's really crazy as it's basically all of these things combined together and i am here to explain it to you in such a simple way without using all those fancy technical words which you would see online like blockchain ledger crypto crypto art or even the word NFT itself. Let's be honest, if you are completely new to this space, all of these words can be very, very overwhelming. So NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. To understand exactly what this means, let's break it down, the word down. Let's break the word down and focus on the middle word, which is fungible. If you search it on a Google, the word fungible, you're going to see it's basically means replaceable by another identical item or mutually interchangeable. The main takeaway here is that the word fungible basically means replaceable. Of course, the crypto industry loves to use these fancy words, but basically fungible equals replaceable means non fungible equals non replaceable. You can't replace it. It's a unique. There is only one of them. For example, this Mona is a painting. There is only one original painting whenever it stood like a museum or anywhere and it can't be replaced once it's lost or destroyed. Let me give you another, another example using something I feel very strong about it. That's the suit. Let's imagine that you want to buy a blue suit. So you go onto your favorite retailer website and you see a blue suit is for $100. If you were to purchase this suit for $100, you don't care which specific suit they send you. They are literally going to make thousands and of suits and send them to all the store and all of the, their warehouses. The suit is fungible. It is replaceable. As long as you get one that's similar to the one you saw on the website, you don't really care which one you get. They are fungible. They are interchangeable. However, let's talk about one unique suit that have been with me for a very long time. But basically this suit is really important to me. It has an emotional value for me. It's the suit I wore when I got my first client for my web hosting company, Hostrigger. This suit has great significance to me. Because of that, it's very, very valuable. I am asking all this for an example to make it understand to you. So. It's very scarce. There is only one of them. This specific suit is not replaceable for me at least. If I went back to that retailer to order another blue suit, yes, that's there will be some online for $100. However, they won't be this exact one. Bad example. Uh, but if my friend was 
to actually go ahead and sell this suit of mine without even knowing me i would really pay a double that price let's say 200 dollars just to get it suit back as my it's my original suit i have an emotion connected with this suit this suit is non fungible now everything in our economy is either one or the other it's either fungible or non fungible suppose a bag of pasta for example it's fungible if you go to the shop to buy a bag of pasta you don't care which bag you get as long as it's a bag of pasta the pasta is fungible the famous mona lisa painting as well there's only one original in this world so it's non fungible it can't be replaced and because of this as you probably guessed non fungible items are worth more than the fungible items so now we know that the nf in nft means which means there is only one last part to cover which is the t at last now bear with me as this is the part that typically confuses most of the people who wants to learn who wants to know about nft the t in nft stands for a token which is as you guessed it is another fancy crypto technical word to understand what a token is we have to understand the core functionality of the blockchain so let's imagine that josh wants to buy 5 apples from kelly he charges 10 dollar for these apples so he pull out his bank card and swipe it for the payment in her terminal machine as soon as he swipe the card a message is sent to his bank which says hey josh want to spend 10 dollar on apple and that 10 dollar it's need to go through the kelly's bank who is the apple seller which is pretty much how these private banks are works they document every transaction that comes in and out of your bank account and then at the end of the day you will have a tally that will show you how much money you have left in your account once all these of transactions have to come out so george spent 10 dollars on these five apples which will be deducted from his balance and added to kelly's balance now literally your money is just a number on someone's screen meaning we put a lot of trust in these banks to make sure there are no errors in these transactions that they are documenting every day maintaining ledgers every day however sometimes things do go wrong we have heard in past about lot of things how wall street have made massive errors costing some companies up to 900 million dollars because of a small error there are plenty more but we have seen all these things happening uh, in our past as the internet has grown people started to wonder if it's possible to do the same thing of sending money from one person to another person without the need of banks and the outcome is a very clear concept called the blockchain which basically does the same thing which banks are currently doing right now however instead of these banks keeping all these transactions private meaning no one can verify and mistakes can be also covered up the blockchain does all of these in public and records all the transactions on the internet so let's take a look at the same example in the crypto world now and see how it works so kelly charges josh 10 10 dollar worth of bitcoin for 5 apples josh take out his card and swipe it her on machine and instead of josh card trying to contact josh private bank to verify this transaction it goes onto this public record which we call the ledger where there are lots of computers who are keeping track of every single transaction literally every single millisecond if josh literally don't have the 10 dollar bitcoin to pay for these apples and all of these computers which are keeping track of every transaction are going to notice a discrepancy and turn around and say no decline josh does not have the required balance and we know that because we have accurately documented every transaction on the blockchain everyone else can see it and they can all verify this too if josh do have 10 dollar worth of bitcoin then all of these computers looking at the public record will be able to see this and they have approved the transaction and this will be documented in the public record for everyone else to see now it's very clear for everyone that kelly has 10 dollar worth of bitcoin the main take away here is that the group verifies the legitimacy of every transaction by keeping an eye on every transaction on the blockchain not by relying on the private bank at this point you are probably thinking great i know what nf means i know what the token means however what does any of these 
having to do with the GIF images, these cartoon images worth selling $600,000. Well, what we have looked at so far is all to do with the money and the currencies, right? Let's imagine that one day you are looking at the ledger and you see a transaction that says Malaysian businessman wants to give $2.9 million to Jack Dorsey in exchange of the little token or digital certificate that says his first tweet is now owned by this Malaysian businessman. The only thing the blockchain cares about is does the Malaysian businessman have $2.9 million. So they check all the previous transactions on the ledger and they see yes he has the money. So they go ahead and approve the transaction. And now that transaction is written in the public record that is unalterable and everyone can see it. Everyone can now see the Malaysian businessman owns that tweet of Jack Dorsey. The token has been transferred to someone else. This is exactly what an NFT is, a non-fungible token. And like most things in life, when it comes to valuing something, having an entire group of people validate that it's real increases the value of that thing. It's crazy, but it's it's a fact. As soon as we humans have enough of what we need, such as the basics, food, water, clothing, and so on, we start to put a value on other things. Although, to be honest, the art world has been doing this for many years in the past. This is why NFT starting off with just being JPGs, or you can say JPEGs file, and it's more understandable and relatable as to how people determine the value in the current world as we know it. Some people can literally look at the painting and feel an emotion connected, which is worth a lot of money to them, which is exactly why they will pay a lot of money to go ahead and actually own that painting. However, what's good to know this is that NFTs are not just limited to artwork. They can be applied to literally anything and NFT is literally just digital verified ownership. I mean, even musicians are selling their music as NFTs now and they are making millions of millions of dollars. NFTs can be applied to anything as I just said. It's a just it's just a digital verified ownership. I hope this video has demystified the whole NFT world and it all makes sense. It did take me a lot of time to produce this specific video. So if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button and you are new to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.